Happy New Year and welcome to YTech. This episode is all about monitors, so we are going to talk about the resolution, the refresh rates, and also the size of the monitors. So first things first, let's take a look at the size of your monitor. So what I have with me right now is the Samsung G7, the 32 inch version. And as you can see, 32 inches is pretty big and it also shows a lot of things on screen. And on this side, this is a 24 inch Acer Predator monitor. I used this like about five to six years ago, but obviously I've since upgraded to 32 inches and I personally have never looked back. But is 32 inches right for you? First thing you gotta take into account is the amount of space that you have in front of your monitor. So if you are someone like me, and this is actually the space I have right in front of me when I play my games, it is actually pretty okay for me. So with this kind of size, you actually might wanna have a lot of space in between your eyes and the monitor so that you don't end up like seeing only like things right smack in the middle. If you wanna take a look at something like a 24 inch monitor, so obviously this is in portrait mode. If you turn it to landscape, it will be around this size and that's about it. So one thing to note about the size of your monitor as well. So like this, I can actually see my enemy pretty clearly. And let's say if I were to increase the distance, let's say in Valorant, to 50 in-game meters, I can actually still see my opponent. But imagine this on a 24 inch. To see this little dot on the screen, you actually got to bring your monitor slightly closer so you can actually see it in game. So it's little things like this that actually make your monitor size matter. A 27 inch will be slightly bigger than the 24 inch obviously. So you can actually just leave it at this distance where I have with the 32 inch monitor and still see your enemies pretty clearly. A lot of people will actually prefer a 27 inch because it is not as gigantic as a 32 inch. And when it comes to resolution which I will cover after this, 27 inches, even if you have a 1080p panel or a 1440p panel, it still looks pretty good. And while we are talking about 24 inch monitors, 27, 32, there are actually another category of monitors as well, which are the ultra wides. So the ultra wides are usually not this kind of square shape. It is slightly elongated. It gives you the feeling that there is a lot more space to play with in your games. And it also emulates the feeling of having dual monitors without that little nasty bar in the middle that you have when you combine two monitors together. But before you buy that, make sure the game that you mainly play supports ultra wide because a lot of games actually don't really support it because some games might actually just elongate this and it looks pretty terrible. I'm not going to talk much about the ultra wide in this video because it is essentially just another kind of monitor size but it has a specific purpose which we are going to talk about in the next video when we talk about multi-monitor setups. But for now just take it as it is one of those other monitor sizes that you can go out and buy if you are looking for a monitor. So that brings me to the resolution. Technically what a monitor resolution is is how many pixels you have on your monitor screen. So if you heard terms like 4K, 1440p, 1080p, those are basically the resolution of what your image is portraying on the computer. So this 32 inch is actually running at 1440p and I don't know if it can be captured on camera but the details and all that on the monitor looks pretty okay. The image is sharp enough and it is amazing. Now what happens if I turn the resolution down to 1080p? Now I've turned it down, I don't know if you can see it, but this is a massive quality loss from the 1440p earlier. Not to say that 1080p is a bad resolution, it's just not meant for a 32 inch because everything will look like it's a blurry mess because images are not sharp at all. And if that is something that bothers you, you might actually want to get a monitor like this with higher resolution like 1440p or 4K or get a slightly smaller monitor that actually looks good while playing at 1080p. So monitor sizes that technically look good with 1080p are the 24 inches and also the 27 inches. While at 1440p, the ones that look absolutely great are the 27 inches and the 32 inches. Personally, if you do find a 27 inch monitor with a 4K resolution, I don't think it's a worthy buy because 27 inches look pretty sharp enough with 1440p and 4K is just quite redundant as a resolution. Because I don't see any extra sharpness with 4K on a 27 inch, maybe just slightly but it is not worth the performance trade-off if you're playing something like a competitive first-person shooter or things like MOBA. 
A 32-inch monitor would look pretty great with 1440p and also 4K. And personally, I've seen a 4K resolution on a 32-inch. It looks absolutely great. And I can say that 4K on a 32-inch is worth it. But personally for me, 1440p looks sharp enough. I can see a lot of things. Everything is pretty clear on it. So I think for 32 inches for myself, 1440p just makes the cut. So you know earlier when I was talking about whether you can see your enemies on a large screen or not. So let's just increase this back to 50 meters. I can still see the enemies, but imagine this in lower resolution. I would see a blurry mess if this was 1080p and I probably couldn't make out the body from the head and stuff like that. And personally for me, it might make me miss a headshot or two. And it is quite detrimental if you really can't see things on your large monitor anyway. That is why resolutions are also very important because it makes you see your enemies and also things on your monitor clearly. Now the next and final thing we're going to talk about is your monitor's refresh rate. So the refresh rate is basically how much your monitor refreshes each frame per second. So let's say your game has 300 frames per second. A monitor with 300 hertz will refresh 300 frames a second. And yes, you guessed it right. Even if you have 300 frames per second on a 60 hertz monitor, your monitor will still only display 60 frames per second. So in this current day and age, there are four main refresh rates for monitors. There is 60 hertz, there is 144 hertz, there is 244 hertz, and 360 hertz. If you're wondering why the refresh rates went from 60 to 144 and then to 240 and not 120 hertz, it's because when the technology was made, 144 hertz seemed higher than 120 hertz, so it stuck with the industry standard. And that is why you still find monitors with like 165 hertz refresh rate, but <laughs> it's one of those things that are all marketing. So yeah, if you are someone who has been playing games on 60Hz and also do not see the need to upgrade from 60Hz, then by all means just keep your monitor at 60Hz. But if you have not tried a 144Hz monitor, I suggest you just try it out and see if it affects your gameplay and also how you feel about it. And if you feel that there is no difference, then just stick with 60Hz. Now, when it comes to people who are playing first-person shooters, they swear by the fact that the jump from 60 hertz to 144 hertz is very noticeable. Their gameplay feels smoother and some say that the refresh rate actually makes their game a little bit snappier. But one thing to note, jumping from 60 hertz to 144 hertz, you need to try out the monitors and the panel before you actually buy a 144 hertz panel because some people actually experience motion sickness when they jump from 60 hertz to 144 hertz. And if you are someone who experiences motion sickness when you are using a 144 hertz panel, I suggest just stick with a 60 hertz panel. It is not worth all that trouble to go through, especially when your life actually doesn't really depend on it. Concentrate on the resolution and concentrate on the size of your monitor and it is more than enough. And then there's the jump from 144 hertz to 240 hertz. Why I personally use a 240Hz monitor is because I actually went and tried a 240Hz panel and I really like the extra smoothness from the 144Hz. So, there you go. And then there is the next tier which are the 360Hz monitors. I personally have tried a 360Hz monitor and I must say it is still much smoother than a 240Hz but I am one of those rare cases that can actually realize and notice this kind of difference. One thing to note about the 360Hz monitors as well, at this point of time, the only panels that have 360Hz are all 1080p. I personally think that I am not ready to sacrifice the size of my monitor and also the resolution just to upgrade to 360Hz. But if you are an eSports player, if you are playing first-person shooters for a living, I implore you to just go and check out the 360Hz monitors and see if it makes any difference to you. And you will notice I have been saying this the whole entire video, Try out the monitors if you can to make sure you actually buy the right one for you. Some people like 24 inches, some people like 27 inches, and some like 32. I think I made an innuendo out of this whole thing. But yes, test the size of your monitors, test the resolution, whether you think it's sharp enough. Some people like a 32 inch with a 1080p resolution. I'm not judging you, but if that works for you, great. Some people like a 27 inch monitor with 4K resolution and that's fine as well. Just go and try and see what really works for you. 
And also one thing to note is that the price of these monitors can also vary pretty a lot. This stupid panel actually cost me a thousand over dollars. Don't judge me, I bought it as a present for myself. But there are also other 32 inches that are out in the market that can run at 144 hertz for like $400. There are a lot of affordable monitors out there right now that are 27 inches with 144 hertz and 1440p and you can get them for like 400 to 500 Singapore dollars. This probably is a special case because it's 1440p and 240 hertz and the technology only came out like a couple of months back but I'm predicting by the end of 2021 this will probably be like $700 or $800 max. So yeah, hopefully this video has helped you to figure out whether you need to buy a big monitor or a high refresh rate monitor and also to take a look at the resolution of your monitor. In our next episode, we are actually going to talk about whether you need more than one display. So I'm pretty sure you've gone online and seen people with like triple monitor setups. I don't know, some people have like six monitors and stuff like that, but is it really useful and do you need it? I'm going to cover that in the next video, so do stick around for it. Till then, stay safe and I'll see you next time. Yeah.